I have been coding for five months straight and streaming almost every single day. And I have been documenting my journey the entire way. The wins, the struggles, the behind the scenes of actually trying to break into web dev, computer science, and cybersecurity. If you have ever wondered what it really takes to make it in tech, this is the place to be. And this is exactly what this YouTube channel is about. And if you stick with me to the end of this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how I plan to go from self-taught coder to landing my first client and landing my first job in tech, step by step. Five months ago, I knew nothing about coding, literally nothing except for the fact that it was something I just really wanted to do. I, I don't know why, I think it kind of started off as like a money thing, but then when I realized that the money wasn't gonna come in rolling in as quickly as I thought, it actually became a passion to the point where I planned for this whole channel to just document everything tech, but me starting from the beginning, going to the end. You may be wondering, why did I choose to document day zero to day now, 154, rather than just doing it behind the scenes? This might be shocking is I actually was recording, I wanna say three or two months before I even got into this coding space. Was making like motivational videos, talking about YouTube success, right? Just wanting to talk about YouTube and give motivation to others. And then slowly I transitioned into web development and it just blew up from there. And it was something I was just so interested in. I decided to change the channel around and it became a coding channel. Also something that keeps me documenting my journey after I had that first initial, you know, feeling of doing it, it holds me accountable to continue to learn, right? But it also inspires me. So many people in my comments section that like support me, they motivate me. And then when I tell them I'm gonna do something, I feel like I gotta do it, you know what I mean? And it just feels so oh, just relieving to know that I'm not, going through this alone that there's people who are currently going through the same exact journey and are praying for me to do well i'm praying for them to do well honestly trying to go down the same path and just motivating each other to keep pushing forward that was really nice that came along this journey was that i was struggling with javascript for almost like three months to be honest i don't think i understood javascript until this last month and now i could tell you Tutorial hell is a thing because in the beginning, I think I was definitely going through tutorial hell with JavaScript a lot and too busy learning stuff, but not really remembering it. Then when it came to coding it, I couldn't really do it. And I think currently now, I don't know JavaScript to the T, which is why, you know, we're five months in, we got, we got more time to learn it, but I do know enough to be able to call myself like a web developer. I think I know enough to where if I wanted to make websites for money, I could. And currently the reason why I'm not is because I want to work on my speed, but we'll get into that later. Crazy the, the progress and the improvements I made on that JavaScript journey. And when I finally think it clicked for me was when I actually introduced the Odin project into my learning. Because the Odin project, it actually like teaches you very well while also making you build projects. And man, was it something else when they broke down things to me that I already saw, but when they broke it down to a point where I could understand, I found out coding for me is like this. Picture this, you're reading a book and there's a couple words in there you don't understand. But some people, even though they may not understand everything, they can kind of put it together and move forward. I'm not like that. I learned that I need to understand what everything is simply doing in that project. And if I don't get it, I can't move forward. So what I started doing was breaking down the JavaScript code before implementing anything from my end, just so I could understand what exactly is making this rock, paper, scissors game play rock, paper, scissors, right? Eventually when I got to this point, man, it unlocked so much confidence in my JavaScript and my coding abilities or just learning in general that I decided to make the decision that I'm probably going to shoot for the computer science degree and then eventually get into cybersecurity. This showed me that I could learn anything. You can learn anything too. Within this five month journey, I came up with this new series called the Barbershop Website Series. And you may be wondering, what is this? Well, this is a series where I'm currently playing around with mock clients, so they're fake clients, to try and get myself the feel of making websites for clients. So I'm writing down things that they will want, things that certain colors here and there, things they might wanna switch up on the side. And I'm showing myself how to plan for a website, how to plan a layout off of instructions from a client. I'm also showing myself how to pick up the speed when making a website for a client. And also when you try to work on a project and you treat it like it's a real world project, it is completely different than doing something that's like a tutorial, right? This is something you're actually 
you know building to show yourself that you can do something and that you're probably even going to use it as a template for future clients something else that i'm going to be starting this month i'm currently going to be building websites from front and mentor now somebody recommended this to me in my live stream one day and i had no idea what front end mentor was and when i finally looked at it i was like where has this been all my life you know what i mean like i could have been using this for ages they even give you like font sizes they give you the colors they give you some of the logos right just so you can make it look very similar you're trying to replicate what they created there in the picture and you're trying to make it very similar but it teaches you javascript right you continue to build a nav bar for instance every website you know how easy making that nav bar is going to become it may take you an hour 30 minutes in the beginning but you keep doing it it could take you three minutes literally right not even no joke it shouldn't it honestly it takes even less time when you actually understand exactly what you need to do to the t to make it go across that top to you know space between have a gap so they're not too close together have the logo on the left cart on the right right it goes insane and solving these challenges will truly boost your confidence because when you realize that you can actually do that like sometimes you can't really come up with the idea yourself but when someone comes up with that idea and you can execute it man you feel like you're the best coder alive bro jump into me streaming every single day since july literally since july i've already been documenting the journey since day zero so if y'all want to go back to the beginning i have a whole playlist about this from day zero to day 150 but you know it it's just insane because when it hit july i used to post every single day on youtube videos but then that's when I got into live streaming and I learned like, oh my goodness, live streaming is a better way for me to actually show my progress every day. So I started changing up the main content, but my live streams have been strictly about me learning and documenting that whole entire process daily. It's the coolest thing ever. So if you want to see a journey daily, this is the channel to be. What I've learned about coding in front of people and even just people commenting in the chat and you responding, yo, like it really helps with your communication, right? Because if you're definitely coming into this web dev or, or just tech field in general, you are going to have to know how to communicate with clients or just communicate with workers, employees, right? And when you're on live stream and people ask you certain questions like on the spot that you have a chance to explain to them and teach them, it really gets yourself prepared with the vocabulary to be able to tell them exactly what is going on on the screen. Or even if you're someone who's like shy, but you have these questions, like someone was like, hey, how was your day? Like I used to get scared to answer those questions in real life. Now it's starting to build me like in real life to actually be speaking to people. I'm like, damn, like live streams really help you learn how to talk to people in real life. It is super cool. And I think that's the best part about the live streams also too, just the community that's there. There's so many people that I get to see like familiar well not familiar faces because you don't really see a face but familiar names we'll talk about where they're working if they're going to school what they're doing what certs they got like it's super cool man super cool and i have a discord in the description if you want to go join that's where a lot of people are where they are talking about you know pretty much just anything and not only just was i was doing these live streams like this really boosted up my channel y'all back in july I was at like i think 400 or 500 subscribers which is really good for me just posting videos every single day for i think like two months but then y'all like i skyrocketed it boomed ever since i started doing live streams i did live streams in july and i got 400 subs i think it was like 450 subs that month the next month another 440 subs this month coming up we're, we're very close to that number it's, it's just insane this type of stuff that we are doing based off of these live streams and the way that it's been growing this channel like the views counts has been super high i'm literally about to get monetized i think i should be monetized like full full time in december but i should be getting monetized this month or maybe a little bit into next month just because you know youtube's monetization it takes a while for the watch hours to get in there but i'm gonna get monetized to be able to do memberships um i think to be able to get tips and then to uh, make merch. And just a lot of people are now starting to root for my journey and I'm rooting for yours, man. Like this is so cool that we could just come together here and participate in this one journey of just becoming a developer. Remember, this channel isn't just about web dev. So far, that's what it's really been about, but the main goal is getting my computer science degree. I wanna get an IT job and I wanna be able to really truly be in cyber security so and then also too man i've been chasing certifications i got my responsive web design certification i plan on getting the javascript cert which i'm really close to getting 
I want to get the Google IT support cert, which is going to help me get the CompTIA A plus cert. So it's just a lot of chasing certifications and making sure that I'm just, you know, certified all around and while also building projects that prove that I am what I am. I want to build like a freelance business, make websites on the side as a side hustle, maybe a hundred, two hundred dollars a month. I think it would just be super cool of man if I can end up getting those things down pat. Now, the reason why I've been documenting this journey as well is because, you know, I've known a lot of people or a lot of people in the comment sections that show that they wish there was somebody documenting their journey around the time that they got in. And that's why for me, I choose to document my entire journey simply because I know that there's people who wish they could have seen videos like this, especially me when I first started about um five months ago right when i first started i was dying to find somebody's journey i just wanted it so bad i wanted it to just have them side by side while i was coding every day and it's crazy because i decided to become that person and there's a lot of people who do that with my videos where if i drop a video if i go live they'll just have it open while they're coding before they go to sleep right it gives it gives them motivation inspiration just keep pushing man and i just love that like so much because Oh, like I wish I could find somebody like that for me and I and I found some people that are similar but nobody really documenting from day zero to now so especially too when you see the people who actually are successful it's like all we see is that they are successful and they're trying to teach us their success but it's so much better when you got to see their journey and then they became successful and then they use their own videos to teach their journey. It's nice that I could document the entire way there. So if you ask me, I could send you to this channel, like if ever in the future, that would be crazy, bro. Like me making this video now and in the future, people are watching this video. Oh my gosh, hold on, that's gonna be, I'm gonna get a headache thinking like that. But I wanna show you guys the struggles, the grind, the learning in real time. Like, I think it just makes the journey so much more worth it. So that's why if you follow me now, you're literally gonna watch someone go from zero to being in a career and being exactly where they want to be in tech. So earlier I, I teased that I was going to tell you my step by step on how I was planning on getting into the tech industry and possibly building up this freelance business, right? So number one, I want to keep building real life projects like the barbershop website, the front end mentor, because like I've stated a little bit earlier, it builds up repetition, it builds practice and it builds, you know, certain like templates of me knowing exactly how I want to build things so I can make it a little bit faster. Number two, I want to offer websites to small entrepreneurs. I'm not talking about businesses. Well, they kind of are businesses, right? But I want to target the people that are like a barber, right? And they're working in their house, but they don't really have a good website. Or, you know, I want to target a nail tech, someone who's just starting, but they're working inside of like this studio that they bought just to specifically do this stuff, but they're lacking clients. I'm like, hey, I got you a website that can get you hella clients. You know, when I be looking at these people websites, I'm like, Bruh, I can make such a better website. So those are gonna be the type of people that I target. As soon as I see a website, boom, I'm targeting you. I don't like it, I'ma fix it for you. Three, gotta grow my portfolio, my reputation, right? Cause of course I can't just sit there charging 250 off the jump and they don't know me if my portfolio don't look good. So I gotta make sure that I'm set. I gotta make sure I get multiple clients on a, on, you know, a schedule just to show that I can be trustworthy and I will make you a good looking website. You're not gonna, this ain't gonna be a waste of money. Finally, number four, transition to this freelance income. But like I said, I'm shooting for a side hustle, not a career. Number five, would me still continue to chase these certifications like for cybersecurity, because I do want to take a cybersecurity bootcamp at some point, but I want to get this computer science degree. I want to make sure I get the CompTIA plus, the network plus, the security plus, right? All the way down the line, just making sure that I'm getting all the certs and you know the degrees that i need and then of course you know you don't really need all of those because you could just land the career like you know it's possible to land the career but i want to get it to show that i know what i know and i say who i say i am also i want to make huge projects like home labs for either cybersecurity or for it right just to show that i could do what i'm saying and that i could do man and that's hopefully what's gonna help me land the job and then lastly land my first job or contract i would not care if it was a contract either just i want to be able to get experience i don't even care about the pay experience over money remember that y'all so if you want to see the real behind the scenes of becoming a tech developer, someone going from beginner to actually making it in tech, not the fake little highlights, okay? Not the fake highlights, but the real journey. Make sure you end up hitting that subscribe button, you leave a like and you comment down below, I love this journey. Or 
I'm going to join this journey or something like that. Comment that down below. Even if you already joined the journey, say something like, I've been on this journey since blah, blah, blah. Something like that. Let me know you made it to the end. We are just five months in and trust me, this is only the beginning. There's just gonna be so much more videos. I can't even believe I've been documenting for five months already. That is crazy to even wrap my damn head around. And it's, it's honestly, it paid off. I learned a lot. My YouTube channel grew. Thank y'all so much, man. I'll be catching y'all in the next one. This is Marzi's journey. Deuces.